Now that our data structure is published, we are ready to add some content to the base. Click the Content tab at the top of the screen. You are now on the screen used to enter content into a base's data structures. Notice how the left panel lists the collection you've just created. Select General Information in the content list to the left. Here you will be able to provide a value for the title. Let's fill it with Van Gogh artwork. Please note that no validation step is required. As soon as you click out of the input field, the text you've entered is automatically saved. Now let's add an image for the logo. Click the plus button, browse your hard drive to folder containing the unzipped resources and select the PNG file. Once the file is uploaded, it will be displayed in the small thumbnail version. A click on the thumbnail will open the original in the New Browser tab if you want a closer look. You can also delete it by hovering your mouse over the thumbnail and clicking the X button that appears. At the top of your Group Components property list is a reference to Draft. While in the Draft state, no experience will be able to see this data. To change the state of this data, click the blue rocket icon. Here you have two choices. The first enables you to stage the data for publishing. The second publishes the data immediately. To stage data means you don't want to publish it yet, but it will be published if you click the Publish Content Changes button in the bottom left. Publish data, on the other hand, will be visible to any base referencing this component. No matter what state your data is in, clicking the blue rocket icon will enable you to change its state. There is even a revert option which rolls data back to the previous value. If a component is already published and you change a value for one or more of its properties, a new draft tab will appear, enabling you to juggle the two states until you decide which to ultimately keep. We're done with this component, so let's move to the second one. Select Artwork in the content list. As you can see, the collection currently contains zero items. In order to add an item, click the blue Add New Item button in the upper right corner of your screen. This will open a pop-up window in which you can add content for this new item. A quicker way to add item is to click the blue plus button in the center table. This will add a new column into the table for you to fill. In this particular case, for the illustration property, you can either click the plus button and browse your drive to the folder containing the picture, or drag and drop an image from the file explorer directly on the table cell. Notice that with the addition of every new item, a unique item ID is automatically created. This ID cannot be customized, it is comprised of the component name followed by a number. Adopting the method that suits you the best, let's add five items in the collection and use the files images-1 to images-5 for each item respectively. As with the structure earlier, you'll need to publish this data before an experience can access it. Click the Publish Content Changes button in the bottom left. This will open a panel describing all of the modifications we made earlier. Click the blue Publish Now button. Your content has now been published and saved to the Entryface cloud. Let's move to the next step and use this brand new base in Composer.